happened right here that didn't happen there. And this is what we can't explain to other people. We just know that it's seared through our own hearts. In verse 8, it says, When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees. Okay, now go, go here with me for a second. Because remember, Jesus is in the boat, okay? He's in the boat. So the reason why Peter is at his knees is because he's in the boat. Now, I don't know, it, the, the, their vessels were fairly large, so there would certainly have been, uh, understandably, room enough for him to have laid down at his feet. But also, the boat is full of what, ladies and gentlemen? Fish. So he is kneeling down at his knees and he says something to him that is of great importance to us in our present series. Somebody tell me what he says. Depart from me. Go away from me. Why? I'm a sinful man. How come he didn't figure out he was a sinful man when his mother-in-law was healed? And all manner of people came and had their diseases healed. Why didn't he figure out he was a sinful man then? Because somehow he knew that Jesus had so known him on his own turf that it scared the living daylights out of him. And I, I just want to ask you, has there ever been a time when God did something profound for you but somehow after the initial delight of what he had done, it hit you how well he knew you and it nearly scared you to death. That's happened to me. That's happened to me. Where he would honestly, I can't tell you what he'd have had to have managed in order for me to read a scripture on an exact day when such and what was going to happen. Uh, that I was going to have this encounter after having had that conversation. Setups, these divine setups all the time. Is anybody know what I'm talking about? Start asking him to make you aware of it. But here's what happens. At first we're all like, whoa, that was good. And then it was like, whoa. <laughs> He's in my house. He is watching me. He's hearing me on my phone. He's watching me on my computer. This man is on to me. He's come into my home now. And he's messing with me at work. That's when you know you're getting surrounded by Jesus. Depart from Depart from me. Depart from me. I want to suggest to you that one of the biggest miracles in the scene is that Jesus did not depart from him. Do you know, and I wonder, and this is, I just pray this is going to speak to somebody uh, listening and, and watching today. How many times have you said one way or another, maybe with different words, go away from me, go away. How many times have we in this room said to Jesus, depart from me, depart from me. And you know why? Because I'm a sinful woman, because I'm a sinful woman. And it scares us to death that he would hang around when we know we do not have it together. And that's the crazy thing, is that the light of Christ's countenance is so bright when he reveals himself that you will always get a self-revelation out of it. And I want to suggest to you today, it is one reason why people avoid an intimate relationship with Jesus. Because the thing about it is, you know that the more you get to know him, the light of his presence, and know it's, I want to make sure that you understand, especially if you're new with us, and if you're new to this whole Bible thing, none of us have seen him outrightly. I don't, at least I haven't. I don't see any of them lifting up their hands like they've just seen him like appear before their very eyes in flesh and blood. But we know this, that when he's revealed himself to us, if it was intimately enough, Something was also revealed about ourselves. Sometimes it's something wonderful, like how loved we are. But if I'm wigged out in sin, I am like so aware of it, I can hardly bear it to part from me. And I want you to know it doesn't matter how many times you tell him to go away. Once he's on to you, he's on to you. You'll think that you're going to like leave him at home and then he shows up at the boat. <laughs> Why? Because Jesus loves the fishermen. 
Jesus loves a hairdresser, a bank teller, a teacher, a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, secretary, an administrator, a principal. He loves us. And he is closing in on us.